Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by your RC Experts at Horizon Hobby. I'm your host, Brad Brooker. Taking a walk through the steps you need to take to calibrate your 230S Smart Helicopter and get it up and going. If you're using a computer radio, we'll use actually forward programming to actually calibrate your 230S. So first thing we'll do, let's go fire up your transmitter, get it loading up. Once you have that on, first thing we'll do with the helicopter itself is actually unplug the motors. Uh, you'll unplug them from the ESC themselves. So once you have that unplugged, next thing you want to do is make sure your helicopter itself is flat and level. So you'll need a bubble level for that to make sure. And also a good thing to do is use the foam for the blades themselves to actually help everything balance. And another thing, uh, make sure you have your battery in. Uh, that really helps as well. So make sure you have that. We're actually pretty good level right there. So one thing to do is make sure before you get started is make sure your uh, throttle hold is set on your transmitter. So make sure you have that set to on before you get going. So as you heard, it's on hold. Um, so now the first thing we'll do is actually go ahead and fire up the helicopter itself. Go ahead and plug the battery in. So once you're done with that, we'll actually go into your menu settings. So now we're going to model adjustment. You're going to do forward programming, system setup, calibration and sensor. One thing to note is keep everything flat and level and don't bump anything with while doing this. Uh, one also note is the reason why we tell you to unplug the motors is it does affect the way everything calibrates and needs to be nice and flat level. No motion uh, detected or anything like that. So we like everything unplugged. So now go ahead and calibrate and sensor. Hit begin. You'll see the lights change to let you know everything is working and once it's done as well. It'll let you know it's complete. There you go. That's how quick and easy it is to actually calibrate your 230S using forward programming with your computer radio by Spectrum. Now let's walk you through the steps if you're using a non-computer radio with your 230S. First thing you'll want to do is unplug the motors from the ESC. That's your tail, tail rotor and also your main motor. Let's so go ahead and unplug them. Once you got those unplugged, you also want to make sure your helicopter itself is flat and level. Um, biggest thing is for calibration, so go get it leveled. You'll want to use a bubble level with that. But before we do that, actually let's go ahead and turn your transmitter on. Go and plug your heli in so you're not touching it before you get everything leveled. So let's go and level it out to make sure everything is nice and level for calibration. Pretty good right there. Next step you want to make sure is you actually have a throttle hold on. Make sure you have that on. And then also stunt two. Once you have those two in place, you're going to hold the left stick to the bottom right, right stick to the upper left hand corner. You're going to hold it for about 10 to 20 seconds to get it into calibration. Once you're there, you let go as you see the lights flashing. There you go. That's how quick and easy it is to actually set calibration using a non-computer radio. Once your 230S is calibrated, now it's time to hook the motor wires back up to the ESC. But please make sure you hook up the right wire to the correct spot. So again, blue to blue, red to red, and black to black. So let's go to hook those up. Once you get the wires hooked up, you'll be ready to go flying. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and the helpful videos from your RC experts here at Hobby.